I recently went to the Lake District and found a tea shop, one of the most incredible tea shops that I've ever come across. And I've come across some really good tea shops in my time. There was just like wall to wall of tea. I spent ages in there picking out what two, I just limited myself for two, two different new teas to pick out and buy. This is one of them. They call it Arctic Fire Tea. It's Tropicana scented China black tea with blue corn flowers, fruity flavors of mango and papaya and fresh peppermint. Learned my lesson from before. Hmm, can you taste the peppermint? Oh, it's nice. It, mm, I don't know if you can taste like all of those flavors that they're talking about, but they do come together to create this very warm and very appropriately wintry feeling tea since it is raining right now and it is quite cold. I wanted to make this video today to talk about my favorite, favorite things about collecting in this hobby, whether that be Digimon, just gonna focus on Digimon today, or Pokemon. The unique items that you can get while collecting that really, really stand out and just bring you so much joy. So a couple of weeks back, I received this in the post. This is my flower card set arrived in the post and it's only now that I have gotten time to open this up and have a look. The only thing is that it does feel a little bit weird that the way they've packed it, but man, I am just happy, so happy to see this. Look at this, let's move my tea just over a little bit there. Look at this, I'm so happy with that. Uh, this set came out in Japanese like last year, I think it was last year, and it came like in a set, in a folded, the folded set actually. Yeah, so you can see here it's a folded card presentation folder thing. It, it's, it's basically a folder full of the cards and they're presented this way. It's a really nice way to present these cards with them on the background, but for English they had it as a playmat and a loose pack set of cards. So I'm definitely going to be using this playmat and one thing which is really nice about this playmat versus say the original playmats that came out in the Tamer box sets is that they actually have a memory gauge so you can actually use them to play the game without having to bring separate memory gauges with you which is really really nice. It's a stunning playmat honestly it's <laughs> beautiful right up my alley. I mean Agumon's drinking tea with strawberries it's made for me, honestly, literally made for me. I am definitely using that to play mat 110%. Aha, this is just such a fun, fun product. This is the stuff that I absolutely adore collecting. The out of the ordinary, a little bit out there, a little bit weird, you know, card direction, art direction of the cards taken in a really like new and interesting way. So not everything looks the same, you know, different things. And this whole set feels consistent. Every card feels like it's part of this little unique set and it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, look at it. Oh, I am so overwhelmed by how pretty these cards are. If I had any room to gripe, and I'm give me a little bit, I'm going to gripe about one thing, is that it is a shame that these don't have texture, but it doesn't take away from how gorgeous and how fun these cards are. And these are an official product, so it means that I can use these cards in my deck if I so wish. I don't think I have a second set of these, I think I just have the one. So I don't really want to be putting them in my deck because I want to be sleeving them up, keeping them safe, um, so I can have them in my binder, in my plastic prison, where they shall remain forevermore, forevermore in the prison. Oh, look how beautiful these are. These are so nice. Oh, little, little Tenemon, look at his little flower. A little flower in his little head it is so sweet. And of course, the flower Digimon, it only makes sense that she looks really, really pretty in these flowers. And yeah, all together. Look at them all together. It looks so good. It's such a good looking set. Right, where are my sleeves at? Honestly, these cards make me so happy that I'm a collector. They really, really do. <laughs> They're just so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to put them in my binder and put them in my collection and you know what? 
when one day when I have the shelf space, I'm definitely going to putting these in one touches and have them all on a shelf together. I think they would look so nice and maybe I'll even put them in a frame. I think they'd look absolutely gorgeous in a frame on my wall together. Oh, absolutely stunning, stunning piece of artwork. And I'm so, so glad I picked these up. Not only do you get rewarded for just collecting and picking up the more unique things that the hobby has to offer. There is also reward in playing and especially this game. This game does reward you quite nicely for playing with very, very nice participation prizes as well as event packs and alternate arts that you can only get while you participate or win. If you get good and you actually win in the TCG, you get some very, very nice pieces of artwork. Um, but sellotape. I hate sellotape. Why have you used sellotape to put these together? Well, I suppose it's a little bit better than it being loose, but I mean, come on now. Eh, I'm gonna spill my tea everywhere. These are the cards, please. Please. Gentle. Gentle. Come on. Gentle. <laughs> gentle now right so this i got from playing in an online tournament uh, the last for a while since i've just been so busy stunning piece of artwork absolutely stunning again with memory gauge at the top so it's a playmat that i can actually use <laughs> which is really really good absolutely love this playmat so much i'm not sure whether i'm going to use this one i need to build myself a gilmon deck or a gallant mon deck i think and then i'll use it i have the pieces for it but i just not I just haven't put the deck together yet. So I think I need to do that. And some very nice sleeves as well. So when you're a collector, I think some of the more fun aspects of the hobby is when you actually kind of look out for all of these unique pieces and whether that's you've just got to keep out online and keep up to date with news that's coming out and making sure you're on the ball when it comes to new products released, but also joining in and playing and then getting rewarded with these incredible cards you know just participating and you get some really really nice unique artwork that you can only get by playing the game it's nice to play it too i haven't done that for pokemon because as much as i'd love to build decks and start playing with pokemon i can only really afford to do that with one hobby with one tcg it's hard enough to be collecting Pokemon and Digimon. Um, I'm sure those of you who collect multiple TCGs understands that trying to balance your budget is difficult, especially when you have all of these incredible things that come out that you want to be prepared for, but actually buying decks or singles and putting decks together. And actually a lot of the time it's my brain power. I only have enough in there for my job, my friends and family, and then one TCG. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. So my biggest piece of advice when you're collecting a TCG and getting into it is not just follow the set, the new sets that come out. And while it is great and really, really fun to get boxes of new sets, to open up packs and get hits, sometimes the most exciting collection pieces are those that come from individual products that might slip under the radar if you're not careful. Digimon Bandai on their Twitter are very, very good. I mean, Twitter's in a bit of a state at the moment. On Twitter, Digimon are very, very good at keeping everyone up to date with what cards are being released with what sets and what you can pre-order. It is a little bit annoying that, oh, a little bit is quite annoying that Europe and Oceana, etc., etc., can't pre-order from the Bandai store, which is like really annoying because it means that I have to use a proxy to, to guarantee me some of these products. But needs must, there was no way that I was not going to get to that flower set. And it is nice to join online tournaments and get myself some sneaky alternate arts that are, well, limited to that tournament.